Okay, so today I want to talk about my morning routine because a lot of people deal with anxiety. So I've come to realize that anxiety is a real thing. We all deal with it. But what really works for me is just having a strong morning routine. I've learned that my morning routine really attributes to just, just starting me out in a mellow, peaceful, calm space. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Some of these things you might have heard of already, you might be like, I know that, but do you do it? That's the question. And if you don't, that might be the little thing that's attributing to all the extra anxiety that you're feeling when it comes to work, when it comes to relationships, etc. So here are five things that I do for my morning routine to make sure that I just started out as mellow as possible. So the first thing, wake up early. So I used to be one of those people who just woke up like literally, I think an hour before I need to get ready and just go take a shower and literally everything was down to the minute. But I found that who wants to start their day off rushing? That's initial anxiety that you're opening up your day with, like that can't be good. To start your day off anxious, can't be good. So I try to wake up, I try to give myself a half an hour of cushion room so that I can have a slow morning. And in addition to that, I like to start it off with gratitude. Like first thing I do is I wake up, I say my prayers, I thank God for another day of life because let's keep it real y'all, life is not guaranteed. First and foremost, you have the biggest thing to be thankful for, which is another day of life. Another day to conquer your goals, another day to tell your loved ones that you love them, just another day to carpe diem. Number two, it's no secret that I love to work out, y'all. Mm -hmm. I do. And while there are a bunch of health benefits to working out, kick it off my day with an accomplishment actually that I am not always successful with just sets a great tone for my day. So literally the last one I said, waking up early, like not waking up, not starting off my day in an anxious state, and then kicking off the day with an accomplishment makes me feel really, really good. Now different people work out at different times, you really have to do what's best for you, but me working out in the morning is good, it's when I have the most energy, it's just when everything just goes well. I just like mornings because they're unbothered and I can just have peaceful time with me and Jesus and my workout. Number three. So speaking of prayer, devotionals. Some people probably like, yo, didn't you just say your prayer? You gotta do a devotional again? Yes, yes. I'm sure you guys, if you haven't seen this, I'm surprised because I've seen quite a few friends and celebrities reading this book, but it's Draw the Circle, the 40 day prayer challenge. Aside from the hype, it's a really good book. It is a really, really good book. I left the experience feeling extremely fulfilled, learning a lot, and don't worry if you go past the 40 days like I think I did like three months because I wanted to take the time to like really absorb the information so it's like one or two pages a day as are most devotionals and then I would just like reread it and like take notes and stuff like that. Bam! I just wanna love because I'm a hustler. Cue the music. I'm a hustler. So to find something that is that mindset and then also linked to faith was like a big thing for me. My sister actually put me onto this or rather me stalking her Insta stories. What up, Kavia? But yeah, then once a friend heard me talking about it, she got it for me for Christmas. And so at that point I was like, okay, Jesus, you want me to read this, so I will read it. It's um, Dream Chasing God's Way. This is all in my Chazing's Favorite Thing stores because guess what? It's my favorite thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's gonna be there. As I'm getting ready, like music, music gives a lot of people life. So I like to, once again, the theme of having a slow morning. I love music. If I'm not listening to music, I'm either listening to something like a podcast or YouTube videos, which I tend to like those more just because they get to the point. So I like to do that. Once again, the theme, you get it now? Feeding yourself with positivity. Number five. All right, so this last one is not done in the morning. Planning your day the night before. So like, if y'all use a planner, before I leave work, writing out what I need to do, and I separate things in three categories. There's personal, there's business, and then there's work. What do I need to do? All that stuff so that like, I'm just not thinking about in the morning and now my mornings, aha, could be completely free and stress free. Do you get where we're going with this people? Do you get where we're going? You get where we're going. You do, right? You do. I hope you do. So those are five things that I do for my morning routine. All right, try them out before you judge it, just try it. Cause I spent so much time like saying, eh, that's too much, that person's doing a lot. But what's that saying? 
you do what others don't, uh, so you can have what others won't. And if you look up your favorite successful person, whoever that is that inspires you, all right, an icon, they're more than likely doing some of these things, if not all of them.